It's a case of not too young to run or not yet ready. My life starts very early because when I be day 10 years old, police enter my village, scatter the place. To free movement. That violation of my right, my arrest, mm. my detention. Yes. My restriction. Now since that night, now I make decision as a 10 year old say, when I reach time, I will fight to ensure safety. We're still there under new colonial control. Hmm. Now we come to inside internal recolonization by our. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of the uh, Leonard Ezenwa, the guy who uh, was sent to hijack the party African National Congress. That's his face. He's the one on art going behind uh, with his lawyer, and these are his people too. Look at the face of the chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of the chiefs. That's one of those chiefs. The guy who was sent to hijack our party. Look at his accomplices. Yeah, look at them. Shame on you people. Shame on you all. For life. That's a good time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Carry those who the case. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. Great job. And uh, the deputy legal, deputy legal advisor, who is anti-party. <laughs> this one. This is anti-party now. <laughs> Uh, and he's going to be governor in 2027. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're not there yet. I can't, I can't. Uh, we are, how did you come to that conclusion? We are not selling forms. Yes. How did you come to that conclusion? <laughs> because we will look at it. Can you uh, tell us what was? No, issue. No, no, no. You better shoot back. I can't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, this uh, is a general broadcast to Nigerians, and particularly members of the African National Congress. We are here today at the Federal High Court in Abuja to finally litigate and put an end. Uh, attempts to hijack our party that started in 2019. And for three years, as we have consistently told you, the hijackers were in control of the party, having been in uh, 
cahoots with Ireland. We won at the Court of Appeal on June 2nd, 2022. Uh, the, the assistant office of our most competent, uh, uh, powerful lawyer, Barrister Inibe Ethel, as you all know him. But the litigants are wanting to abuse uh, processes of our courts with impunity. Brought the case that had already been decided by the Court of Appeal to the Federal High Court before Justice Unwite. And uh, as it stood, uh, the judge found them to have abused the processes of court and made it clear once again today that legally, uh, politically, and in every material sense, the party is legitimately in the hands of its original leaders. Me being the chairperson of the party, uh, which was originally the case since 2019, stayed in that position because the party was hijacked for three years. Uh, we have validly heard the convention, the Australian convention to elect, uh, nominate a presidential candidate for the party and other uh, candidates for the party. And uh, today, our learned judge, uh, uh, his uh, lordship, made it very clear that uh, the position of our lawyer uh, was valid, accurate, and very succinct in saying that this lawsuit uh, was an abuse of uh, the court processes. And he awarded penalty judgments, uh, of course, sorry, uh, course against the violators of court processes. In this case, an expelled member of the party who is uh, by name Leonard Ezenwa. So uh, we're here with our lawyer, uh, most respected, most vibrant, and the uh, most aluta conscious uh, lawyer who cannot be intimidated anywhere, any day. Uh, we are not allowed to advertise lawyers, but we can advertise card. So we welcome uh, our lawyer, Professor Nibi, to give you more legal background. And uh, thank you very much uh, once again for doing the great job that thank you. you are known for. Uh, uh, gentlemen of the press, we came to court this morning before the Federal Light Court in Abuja for judgment in yet again another lawsuit filed by one Leonard Zenwa who was expelled from the African National Congress right now. Uh, recall that in 2019 Leonard had approached the Federal High Court before the Honorable Justice in Yanko, where he asked my lord to declare that Mr. Showare was, uh, according to him, validly suspended as the national chairman of the ACE. And in that lawsuit, he made certain flimsy and frivolous claims and allegations. One of which, I need to make this point clear to Nigerians, according to Leonard Ethan, one was that Showare had uh, misappropriated or had embezzled party funds. But because in the African National Congress and as the National Legal Advisor of the party, I know as a fact that Showare never misappropriated, he never embezzled, he never took party funds or campaign funds as alleged by Leonard. This allegation was false because for him, that was one of the reasons he claimed Showare was suspended, even though there was no evidence of such. Of course, the Federal High Court entered judgment in his favor. The Honorable Judge Yanko entered judgment in his favor. And we were rightly aggrieved by that judgment. We consequently approached the Court of Appeal in 2019, asking that the judgment of the Federal High Court be set aside on several grounds, principally on lack of subject matter jurisdiction, on the grounds that the case was against the weight of evidence, and of course, on grounds of breach of fair hearing. In a well-considered judgment, the Court of Appeal this year, I think in June. June 2nd. June 2nd. Unanimously, there was no dissent. Agreed with us that one, the judgment of the Federal High Court, wherein the purported suspension of Shoure was affirmed, was entered in error. 
in that one, the Federal High Court lacked jurisdiction to meddle into the issues of the leadership of the AAC. The court didn't stop there. The Court of Appeal went for that to hold that the constitutional right of Showare to fair hearing and that of Dr. Malcolm were breached by the Federal High Court by the judgment. And the court even went for that to award the sum of 200,000 against Lona Edenwa, which effectively restored Showare as the national chairman of the AAC and by implication made nonsense of what has always been a false claim that Showare did not account for party force. Of course, dissatisfied with that judgment, Mr. Lunar approached the Supreme Court, which uh, appeal is still pending, and then sought to have the judgment of the Court of Appeal upturned. He has not succeeded in doing that, clearly realizing that going to the Supreme Court was a waste of time, given the clarity, given the lucidity, with which the judgment of the Court of Appeal was entered, the reasons and the reasoning that cannot be faulted, that cannot be controverted in law. Leonard made an about face, returned to the Federal High Court this year, and then filed a fresh suit wherein it asks that the Federal High Court should again recognize him as the national chairman of the AAC, stop Mr. Ashoware from being the presidential candidate of the AAC, and several other reliefs which, as we rightly argued before the court, were ungrantable in law. We raised an objection to that suit on several grounds, including lack of jurisdiction, including abuse of court process, and of course the doctrine of res judicata. We even argued that even on the basis of the AAC constitution, the suit could not have been commenced because the consent of Showare was not certain of time. Issues were joined, and today, thankfully, my Lord, the Honorable Justice Nguyen, in a well-considered judgment, has again agreed with us that Leonard is a meddlesome interloper, is an agent of illegality, is a man with an unquenchable ambition, political ambition that is also in session. As a matter of fact, if you listen to the judgment, my Lord used very strong language to deprecate what is clearly an act of illegality. My Lord even has created, you know, in some way, the lawyers to Mr. Leonard, who we had won, should not have brought this suit. And then the court did not just dismiss the suit. The court restated that, that today, in law, the only national chairman of the AAC is Mr. Moye Leshoware. And that indeed, any claim to deprive Showare of his position as national chairman of the AAC is unfounded in law. And that except the Supreme Court upturns the judgment of the Court of Appeal, Showare will remain the national chairman. The court even went further to dismiss the suit and awarded punitive cost of 500,000 against Mr. Lin and Zimwa. So this is a caution to Nigerians out there. Do not listen to any contrary information. You can see we are saying this live from the Federal High Court. We have defeated him at the Court of Appeal. Today we have defeated him again at the Federal High Court. And his history of defeat is not going to change because when you are pursuing a cause of action that is not founded in law, a cause of action that is actuated by malice, that is actuated by falsehood, you are bound to fail. So in summary today, we have again won another victory for the Nigerian people. But we now have an alternative, a credible alternative in the platform of the AAC to allow Nigerians with ideology, Nigerians who have a different mindset to come and seek their mandate in the 2023 election. So this is me telling Nigerians that, that today, the court has said clearly that nobody can stop Showare from being the national chairman and the presidential candidate of the party. And people ask the question, why is he holding to our position? I think this is a good opportunity to address that. So that this argument that Showare is the chairman, Showare is the spokesman, Showare is everything in the party, is actually false. In 2019, the AAC held a national convention to elect its first leaders. In that convention, Showare was unanimously elected as the national chairman. But when we went on, on the confession ground, the same Leonard made an attempt to hijack the party. Right? So when members of the party saw some money bags coming in, some external persons trying to hijack the party, they said no. Because he wanted to be the national chairman. They said no, that if we allow this desperate individual, he's going to make nonsense of the party. So they allowed Showare to continue to remain as the chairman of the party. And of course, Showare also became the national chairman. But in the court of that, he went to court and got a judgment saying that Showare was no longer the chairman, the national chairman of the party. So it is a question of law where Showare holds dual position. It is not, in fact, Showare, I can tell you, 
has repeatedly said that he's very willing to relinquish the position. The reason why the dual position remains to be is because of this litigation that Mr. Leonard had triggered. So please get it from me clearly that once again we have defeated the agents of impunity, we have defeated the disciples of falsehood, and we have again won victory for the rule of law and for members of the police. And of course, you know, we are very grateful for the support of Nigerians and the party. Yeah. And I must also thank my colleague, yes. the Abuja business lawyer, as I call him, Mr. Yes. You know, who has uh, been very supportive in this course. So that is the position, that is what transpired the court. And to and also add that... Uh, so he's now owing the party. Yes, and, and, and we need that money to print posters. <laughs> <laughs> so that we can win the 2020 <laughs> elections. And this is also a message to all those who are out there who continue and businesslessly try to malign us. We have no problem with freedom of speech and freedom after speech. But what we are saying to you is that you know, there is a candidate that is out to defeat the old order. And we know you are angry about that. that you know, your candidates are not able to speak to the issues affecting the Nigerian people. And that they don't have the credibility and integrity uh, to carry through to 2020. We we'll make it happen. I want to thank uh, party members. So many of them have suffered, uh, yes, a lot uh, in the hands of these hijackers. Uh, we want to thank Nigerians who have constantly believed us because they know we have integrity. And we thank all of you uh, who are waiting for this kind of judgment so that you can knock on the bad wire. There's no legal problem affecting us anymore. If uh, you want to look for legal problems, you can go to the major parties. That, that's where all their members so are involved. <laughs> So-called major parties. Uh, when I say major, I don't mean that. A major in failure and incompetence. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and uh, once again, uh, thank you, uh, a lawyer who has been doing a great job. And um, you know him. You, you know, I don't need to explain him to you. Like I said, I can't advertise him as a lawyer, but I can advertise his integrity. And I love him. Thank you so much. Nigeria, they use computer. The leaders of Nigeria, they use radio where they turn the knob.